So here is the form for the custom validation control. Uh, we have a employee name, phone number and bonus percentage. Um, this is the field we are going to validate using the custom validation control. Uh, we will make sure that bonus percentage does not exceed 30. Um, uh, a compare validated control better uh, suits this one or uh, you can use even a uh, range validator also um, just for demo purpose uh, I'm uh, I'm going to use uh, custom validation control uh, you can see the set of uh, validation controls uh, uh, available here in the toolbox so when you feel that uh, record field validator or range validator or any of these four doesn't suit your validation then you can go for the custom validator uh, here even though uh, my requirement uh, can be done using the compare validator I am just using the custom validator control uh, for the demo purpose uh, so that uh, in real situation when a special validation occurs uh, you can start using this uh, control so I mean uh, absolute layout uh, positioning So I'm placing this uh, custom validator next uh, to the bonus percent. I have a small uh, mouse problem here. That's why uh, I'm not able to do it in a proper way. So please stay with me for some time. Okay, the custom validator is uh, adjusted. Uh, I'm pausing this video to make uh, some of the cleanup. Okay, once a uh, custom validation control is uh, placed, um, you have to set uh, some properties to this. So I'm selecting this uh, custom validator, then uh, I'm going to the properties. The first thing uh, I'm making sure is uh, uh, what I need to validate. So I'm going to control to validate. Then uh, the name given to the bonus percentage is TXT bonus. I'm just uh, picking that. Then um, Then the error message uh, I'm just specifying uh, Okay, now uh, we should hook this with the uh, client side scripting function. Uh, before doing so, we need the uh, client side scripting function. To have a scripting function, uh, we just go to this uh, source. So, at present, we are in design view. We placed our um, custom validation control. After that, we set some properties. 
now switch to source to add javascript code to perform the validation so i'm switching to the source view so here you can see the uh, ending tag for the form so after this uh, form um, you can write my uh, scripting so here in the entire sense uh, I'm just picking the script when I perform the close basis to land the tag so we will specify some other attributes for the script I'm just hitting a space then choosing a type so script type is uh, actually JavaScript so um, JavaScript suits uh, for uh, uh, compatible with uh, most kind of the browsers so one of a good language for the client side scripting so once I place the JavaScript uh, we have to write our function so I'm just specifying a function then uh, specify a name for your function here I am going to specify a check bonus as this function is going to be hooked under the property of the server side validation control I mean um, custom validation control um, the custom validation control expects uh, a predefined parameters so what I'm giving is first I'm giving a source then uh, orgs so these two are uh, passed by the custom validator control and our client side scripting can communicate to that custom validation control using those uh, incoming parameters so here I'm going to use only the arcs uh, parameter that is the argument that is coming as a second so when I said um, is valid property to true then um, the custom validation control signals that uh, I'm okay with the data entered but if you set false here the custom validation control uh, reply back saying there is some error and it will display the error message that we set in the property previously so um, okay I'll start uh, writing the code now since this is a scripting language uh, everything is uh, treated as a variant so I'm just uh, keeping a var and just for readability purpose I'm keeping it as uh, int okay I'm going to collect this from the args field args dot value so I'm using a Visual Studio 2005 IDE maybe in future we may have intelligence for this client side scripting okay args dot value the custom validation control hooked to this um, javascript function also the custom validation func control is hooked to the actual control that we are going to validate so when uh, user enters something in the control I mean in the let's say in our example in the bonus text box if they enter say for example 20 that 20 is collected by the custom validation control and since custom validation control knows there will be a client side scripting that will pass that 20 to after packing that into this arcs uh, parameter so that way we get uh, the value entered in the bonus uh, text box as arcs dot value so now we have whatever is entered in the bonus in the into variable uh, and just use your uh, normal uh, um, conditional check statements uh, int bonus
is greater than 30 we should signal false that means a bonus uh, should be less than uh, 30 percent Okay, I'm just saving this uh, script file and uh, we're done with our uh, scripting. Um, if you need, you can put over a try and catch uh, all those stuff uh, to make the scripting even more safer. Um, so now I'm going back to the design view. Note that we are in the source view of the form and after the form tag, we just placed uh, uh, the client side scripting. And the function name is check bonus. I'm just copying this and uh, moving to the design view. Then I'm just clicking this function. You already know that uh, we already hooked this custom validation control with the text box uh, by setting the property control to validate. You can see it's the control to validate txt bonus. And I am pasting the client side scripting function here. In the property client validation function so whatever data entered in text box is received by the custom validator then it passes the received data to the client validation function check bonus and the check bonus receives that as uh, arcs dot value then uh, using your client scripting uh, um, logic you can make the validation and I can communicate back to the custom validation control whether uh, your validation is succeeded or failed uh, by setting the arcs dot is valid property. So that's all uh, on the scripting side. I will show running this uh, uh, script in a separate video.